Green Woods by Stevie. Yeah, right on. Check it out. So I have this girl that jumps in my chat room today. That, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. Heather Brown, probably from Australia, because she kept calling me mate. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Then all she wants to know, or he, which I think it's a he, because then he keeps saying dude and man um, later in our conversation. And then a purple heart after every fucking sentence. Uh, I see, I see. It says, by the way, mate, you just started, so I I got a proposal for you. I can make some creative stuff. Want to see some of your for some of your streams? Trust me, you will sure be impressed. Then I put, oh yeah, okay, yeah, well, like what do we got in mind? So I want to help you use some of your edits and some of your intros. Just give me your Discord channel. I'm like, nah. Uh, yeah, um, why would you know what what can they do with my discord channel let's just bombard me with advertisements or something probably yeah. i said no i just i said i use mumble i don't i don't have discord okay <laughs> i said give me your email address and i'll just send it send you a link she she just or they just sent me their discord channel that was it. Oh, gotcha. I don't know. Yeah, well, there's like a regular American. It's the same one. I think that's been in yours before, too, that says, you know, hey, I can help you out with links and traffic and all this stuff. But, which that probably is on the up and up, but I'm really, that's not my desire. I'm not regular at throwing my stuff up, and I don't say a lot unless I see somebody in there. Yeah, I just happened to see the person in there. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know why, but so I responded. Yeah, you might as well see what it's about. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I don't know. Well, I can jump, when I jumped in, it still has all your, what you guys were talking about way before I even got in. Oh, okay, so it keeps the history of it up there for everybody to jump in. It must, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she, I don't know. Maybe like I said, maybe. But I don't know why someone would want to offer to help me make creative videos from Australia. You know what I mean? Why would you just meet someone like that and then go, oh, "I'll help you"? You know, we don't have a relationship. You know what I mean? I'll help you create some videos and advertisements and create a logo. Yeah, that's so weird. It's weird. I don't know. It could be some handicap kid just reaching out, doesn't have any friends like that South Park. What was that dude's name? <laughs> you know, he had like one Facebook friend and he's so happy. And then, yeah, what the hell was his name? That was, yeah. a, that was a, kind of a sad one. And then, then they like, they defriend him and he becomes real sad and shit. Yeah, they have Tron on that one. He, uh, he gets sucked into the internet. And <laughs> like Kyle does. I'd, uh, I'd watch that one. Yeah, you just have to Google which season and episode it is and then find it on the Oh, uh, okay. I watched that one not too long ago. So I know it's on there. I just kind of go random through there. So I, I was doing some reading last night and a um, couple things I could um, edit. At least I saved it, you know, so I know how to edit. 
um, XML files. We already know how to do capacity. It's not that big a deal, but I, the guy showed me how to change, like you can change the speed of any implement now and then how to name it, you know? So it's like, you know, Halsey's John Deere 9200 modded. You know, so you can see it in the actual like menu of the game. Oh, cool. Cool. It'll show the capacity and that you changed it to. It, it shows you how to edit that as well, or I'll create that, I guess. And then I stumbled on another device, which is a mod, but it was that it's an actual hitch that goes on your tractor, and then the hitch attaches to the implement, and you can raise and lower that so it pulls it out of the ground a little bit, it still does the effective cultivating or whatever, planting, but it'll like it'll increase the speed into the 20 mile an hour so you can get any device and just cruise right along. You don't have to mod it, you just get the implement or you get the bar hitch, I think we call it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I know you like to do that too and you're like, you're like oh, this doesn't go very fast. But you could uh, get that hitch and then you can tow anything at <clears throat> you know, in the 20 mile an hour zone. Cool. Yeah, and I, like I said, I don't, especially now that I'm going back to the smaller stuff, I don't need. But I do like the 12 mile an hour combine. Man, when you run into six now, it's like, holy shit, that looks slow. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Totally. I wonder if I can take all these trees down. You can take the trees down, that's easy. And then... Do I have to, if I come through with a tractor that makes it into farmland, do I have to grind the stumps first? Nope, not if you use the giant editor, it just takes it all away, like they weren't even there. Like, you click on one maple, and it'll say, it'll highlight all the maples, and then you just, you can either like, click off of it, so you just, no, I just want to do this one. You hit delete, or it highlights them all, and then you just hit delete, and they're gone. So I unzip the folder for the map, and then I start it up with that editor. And then yeah, that, yeah, that's the principle. I mean, if you want to fire it up on, um, I can follow along on your uh, stream, and you know, we'll be a few seconds behind. But yeah, that's the that's the general idea. I know you got to unzip it, you know, throw it into your folder it'll still be one folder it'll still be one file and it's just inside the file gotcha. uh, you name it exactly like it will you know fs22 underscore whatever yeah yeah i mean yeah. Not, i don't have to do it right now but i wouldn't mind doing getting that row of trees out i just bought that third farm that's adjacent yeah i mean i got that seven o'clock meeting but I'll probably take off from, oh no, it's eight o'clock, um, seven thirty. But it's it's kind of intuitive. You could probably just yeah, walk and just start clicking on some shit, and you'll you'll get the idea. Well, do I need to download that editor? Um, yeah, you need to download it, or I can send it to you. Here, hang on.
Okay, it's on the Dropbox. That it automatically zipped it, so you'd have to unzip that too. But it should just be one folder, and then one, two, three folders, five, six, seven, eight. Total of nine. Total of nine items. And then, of course, you just, well, there's only one application. That's the exe file. And there you go. I don't know, create a folder called Denny's Map Mods and throw it all in so you can just work in that. It'll, it'll want to know where you want to point it to. That's probably the hardest thing. And I use that word, <clears throat> um, lack of a better word, I guess. Um, trying to think of the file it wants to freaking fuck with. I have to pull, I'd have to pull one up to see. But there's a particular file in the map. Let me hang on a second. Uh, do you install this editor or? No, it's just got now. You'll just, um, you just run, it. run. You unzip it and then it uh, it creates those nine folders in a, um, all located in a folder called, whatever the name of it is, Giant Editor, an unzipped version. And then inside of that, there'll be an application execution file and just it'll open up from there yeah okay and then it only wants one it only wants one i think it's maps there's one folder in there that it wants to jack with <clears throat> Oh, I think that's it. Okay. Looks like there's a new updated giant there's a new updated version no as well as download. When I click that, it wants me to sign in or something. So if you've already got an account or whatever, it's meant me to go there and download. I probably do. Yeah, I think I did have to do that. Hit, hit the downloads link there on the 
Yeah, it takes me to my login. Um, okay. Let's see if I can get in. I gotta step away, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what my password is. This Careful is typing your shit on your stream. Yeah. Hit up. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Good reminder. Let's see. Australian friend probably has my email now. <laughs> And there's says there's two in here. Watch out, watch out. You're up. If you're talking about your zip folder file thing, it. It's almost better to like export it to a file that folder that you name because that gets kind of confusing because it unzips itself within the fucking zip file with the same name. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I put it on tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just so I finally created a folder called like Mike's Modded Maps, and, and I work inside of that. So it doesn't corrupt anything. I don't even know if I need that. I don't. It doesn't even look like I need that new version. Yeah, I don't know what. I didn't read to see what the updates were. Yeah, looks like this will work anyway.
<laughs> the Wild West. Yeah, Wild West. That's a great map. I was just kind of going through the... Okay, so... Yeah, so... Okay, I remember how to do it now. Yeah, I can, up, oh, I can upload my deal from my map. It's like a gigabyte. I just couldn't remember if it was new mod from game or open mod. It's open mod. And then you pick that file, that exe file, and then it then it opens it up. You pick an exe file inside of the folder, the map folder. Let me go back out here. So it's editor. Hang on, I'll tell you there's it's It's the, it's that I three D file. You'll it's map it's a map it's in it's maps. It's called ID three. That's the file that it wants. Okay. Okay. It'll either open up them. It, it'll take a minute. It'll it's pretty in, depending on how big your map is. Like if it's a sixteen map, it, it can take a minute for it to even just it'll it look down at the bottom left and it'll say like okay. Um, oh, that's all. Um, It'll this say is open just or loading. Uh, it says loading, and then it takes it. it then a little when it says ready, <clears throat> is when you're ready to go. Cool. You kind of first thing you want to do is just kind of like go straight, straight up like you're a drone, <clears throat> which it, it's kind of funky how to change. I you have to use my uh, mouse wheel. To kind of like change the view to oh yeah, you now you left click. That changes the angle, and then look straight down, and then scroll your wheel up as fast as you can. Then it'll zoom you up, and then you can zoom around and find the trees that you want to get rid of. Just click on it. <clears throat> it'll light them all up, and then just hit delete. And then hit save. <laughs> there you go. That's about it. Yeah, I like to clean this one up a little bit. I don't mind. It's not. Otherwise, I don't mind it too bad. I I can get it. These fields hooked together. And... So I don't know if you watch it, but there I clicked on something. Just click. You click on anything, and it'll turn green. <laughs> And then uh, you hit backspace. I, I go up and hit like uh, edit, and then just hit delete. And now everything that's green and highlighted will go away. Cool. And if you want, you know, specific trees or something, like you can look in these files over here, and you can find all the elms, or you can find all the fences. You got, you know, there's the open the fences. Cool, cool. But yeah, have fun. Yeah. Clean it up a little bit so I can see the fields. And drive where I want to. Sure. 
that's probably the hardest part is just fucking knowing how to zoom in and out and you kind of you can't be too hot like i'll go a little hot eye so i can see my map and then i kind of go over to that area it's kind of cumbersome and then you got to zoom and then you got to go back down to like i don't know 300 feet and then all of a sudden the trees will start coming into view So I just went ahead and signed off of OBS. That dude's still in there. <laughs> I mean, he was hanging out for over an hour or so. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, what the hell? We couldn't have been already up by running out. Did you hear me? That dude was still in there. When he saw me open up Giants Editor, he's like, oh, nice, man. So may, may I help you with some of your edits, some of your intros? Is he, if, he, if he's watching the stream, he can hear you. I disconnected from the stream. Because uh, I haven't been playing, and he's still in my fucking stream. So, I was worried I about know. that. I, I think there's a way you can see who's in there right at the, up to the minute. I don't you have to look at in the Twitch app. Yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Like I was being stalked. Well, we are streaming, so we're kind of putting ourselves out there. We we could. I'm sure there's a way that we can get <clears throat> our. Well, I know there is. In fact, we we could get the Discord part out of the stream. I mean, everybody does that though. Like seven five seven and. <clears throat> they're gonna uh, squirrel on that because they're gaming with their buddies, you know, and those guys are in the uh, stream. So then I guess I don't mind. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, just because you go to my stream it doesn't you can't tell I have Discord. No, I guess, no. I guess if I open up my desktop, you could. But if you're capturing <laughs> your desktop, that which we are, we're ca desktop capture then they can hear you talking with your mic and then they can also hear me talking back through discord oh well he probably did figure it out then yeah that's why i said earlier he, if he's in washington he can hear everything right yeah that's when i when i saw that he responded after i don't know an hour later is, that I open up my screen, he's watching my screen. I'm not even really farming, so why would you even hang out? You know what I mean? Dude, yeah. That's what internet stalkers do. Oh, great. Here, my boss. You gotta go in. Chiller's down.
Okay. Got a lost mattress. <laughs> we have to rent some sometimes uh, for Advocare. Uh, you know, just a specialty kind of mattress. And now she sees it on the bill, but we can't find the mattress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the guy that was in that room using that mattress is already gone. I was like, well, I haven't seen it. She goes, well, I can look through the camera, but that's like days, not like two weeks to look. I said, that's going to be brutal. <laughs> that would be brutal. But yeah, otherwise, I don't know what they do if we just don't ever find it. You know. They, uh, I'm sure we have to pay some kind of loss thing or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Storage is just, you know, you just can't have enough room for all this shit. Got this one little room. We got this big old pole barn outside, but Jesus Christ, they got it stuffed full of crap. Can't even walk in it.
Watching this par paranormal caught on camera thing or whatever you call it NASA ne ne never a straight answer. Never a straight answer. <laughs> I thought that was fine too. Yeah, that's good. Okay.
Cool, man. I can freaking throw down lime and fucking solid fertilizer with my pickup truck. Instead of using a tractor, I think that's going to look pretty cool. What, hauling fertilizer to your truck? No, I can, sp well, I don't know, I guess I can't spread with it. I can just move it. There's no PTO. Okay. I can just follow the trailer. I can move the trailer around. I thought, I thought for a second there I could, like, spread with it. Gotcha. I did buy a planter though. All I can really do with is soybeans and corn. I mean, it's just a planter, so. But it's a no-till planter, so it saves me one trip on the cultivator. Yeah, sure. I do six passes now. I got three tractors in the field right now. A planter, a roller, and a sprayer. Cool. I just bought my fourth field. Had grass in it, unfortunately, but it's it's a good field and adjacent, so. That's cool. You can't go wrong with just a grass field. I <laughs> planted over it.
kind of like this app <clears throat> that you can put on your Google phone or your Android phone. And it's your tractor's dashboard with a lot of other information. Like it has all the, it's a HUD that you can use to set your phone up by your computer and <clears throat> has the direction it's going, the latitude, longitude, speed, <laughs> RPMs, fucking oil temperature, fucking. Fucking engine temperature and shit. That's like weird. Well, that seems cool. Put it on the tablet. Man. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, if you want to see all that shit, that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool. Scoob's on some giant map. Not sure what it is. He's trying to go pro, though. It means what his whole goal is, or is he still just a casual player? Who? Scoob? Yeah. I, I don't know. He's, he's got, he had a lot more people if he wouldn't have left Twitch. Went to YouTube, and then... He had way more than 11 back in the day when we were watching. Does, can you do live YouTube, or is it just still recordings? Yeah, no, you can do live YouTube. There's another one I saw. It's like Kick or something. I don't know. There's, um, in fact, I think uh, Adam uses it. I'm not sure what it is exactly. I'm going to take a break. i got to go cook some dinner. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty much wrapping up, and then I'll probably catch you later, tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Sounds good.
Okay, gotcha. Yep. Pleasure.